Possibly one of the most well-known facts for anyone interested in astronomy is that, in about 4 billion years, the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies will collide. The two galaxies with a combined mass of well over a trillion suns are hurling toward each other at several kilometers per second. Andromeda is bigger than the Milky Way, and as they get closer to one another, their structures will begin to destabilize as the merger begins. It's even been predicted that the Sun, which at this point will be transitioning into a red giant, has about a 12% chance of being ejected from the Milky Way entirely during this process, becoming a star without a galaxy. Meanwhile, the two supermassive black holes at the center of each galaxy will merge together, which could have some very interesting effects on their surrounding environments. However, despite how it may seem, this merger probably wouldn't be apocalyptic. Galaxies are a lot more spread out than many people realize, and even though over a trillion stars and well over a trillion planets would be involved in this merger event, it's highly unlikely that any two of them would collide. Ejection from the galaxy also isn't necessarily a bad thing. The system would be incredibly lonely, but mostly unaffected. It would also unfold over billions of years, so it's not like anything would have to suddenly adapt. However, the idea that a collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda is certain in the next 4 billion years was actually based on incomplete data. Before 2012, when the certainty of a collision was being proposed, we knew a lot less about the local galaxies and the stars within them than we do now. Most notably, effects from the Large Magellanic Cloud, the fourth largest galaxy in the local group after Andromeda, the Milky Way, and Triangulum, was unaccounted for. When including new data taken by both the Gaia and Hubble telescopes, a different picture begins to appear. The collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda is a lot less certain than previously expected. In fact, there may be around a 50% possibility that neither of these galaxies collide for at least the next 10 billion years. So, what are the new possibilities for the fate of our galaxy and its neighbors? Even if a collision doesn't happen, there are still a ton of interesting events that could occur, including close passes with Andromeda or collisions with different galaxies. The one caveat before I begin, if you watch my channel, you'll probably be aware that the majority of my videos are about exoplanets. This is mainly because larger scale structures in the universe, like galaxies, just don't interest me as much. At some point, the scale, in both space and time, gets hard to grasp and there's only so many things I can say about it, so I mostly stick to talking about planets, where things are more manageable. Because of this, I know a lot less about galaxies, so there may be some inaccuracies in this video I may miss, simply because I just haven't spent as much time reading about things like this. As usual, the sources will be in the description, but if I say anything wrong, just correct me in the comments. Anyways, the certainty of a Milky Way Andromeda collision was originally based on data from Hubble. They measured the blue shift of Andromeda, how the light changes depending on how fast it's moving. It appears slightly blue if it's moving towards us, and slightly red if it's moving away. They found that not only was Andromeda heading directly for us, its sideways motion was too small to matter, both of which strongly pointed to an inevitable collision scenario. But in the years since this prediction was made, we've gotten a lot more precise data. And surprisingly, instead of increasing the certainty of our predictions, they actually cast them into doubt. To figure this out, the paper which I'll link in the description ran 100,000 different simulations going 10 billion years into the future, accounting for various uncertainties in our measurements and new data that's become available. As I mentioned earlier, they also accounted for the gravitational effects of the Large Magellanic Cloud, something that wasn't possible earlier due to incomplete data. The LMC is a small galaxy that orbits the Milky Way, which is 32,000 light years wide and has about 20 billion stars in it. While it's significantly less massive than the Milky Way, that still makes it the fourth largest galaxy in the local group. And of course, they also accounted for the Triangulum Galaxy, the third largest galaxy in the local group, about twice the size of the LMC. Because all four of these objects are so massive, with the Milky Way and Andromeda likely over a trillion times more massive than the Sun, they have significant effects on each other. Even though the LMC orbits the Milky Way, for example, it pulls on the Milky Way enough to significantly alter its position. Similarly, Triangulum pulls the Milky Way toward it, and it's true the other way around. This could result in a scenario where, essentially, the Large Magellanic Cloud saves the Milky Way from an Andromeda collision. This is because the LMC orbits the Milky Way perpendicular to the plane where the Milky Way and Andromeda are on. So, for lack of a better word, the LMC pulls the Milky Way upwards, which could cause Andromeda to miss us entirely, though there's a significant amount of uncertainty in that. Even with the data we have, we don't know what scenario is going to happen. There's no guarantee that the LMC will save the Milky Way, but it does make a collision scenario less likely. But if this scenario does happen, the Milky Way and Andromeda avoid a collision by about 500,000 light years, which is still a significantly smaller separation than the 2.5 million light years apart the galaxies are today. However, even though they avoided a collision 4 billion years from now, that doesn't mean it'll never happen. 
In this scenario, over the next few billion years, the orbits of the Milky Way and Andromeda slowly decay until they collide sometime in the extremely far future, over 10 billion years from today. So this scenario doesn't stop a collision, but it significantly delays it. Instead of the galaxies colliding as the sun becomes a red giant, they collide long after it's become a white dwarf. However, this scenario of a close pass of less than 500,000 light years only occurred in about half the simulations. In the rest, things were less exciting. In many of the scenarios, Andromeda and the Milky Way missed one another by well over 500,000 light years. Because of their greater separation, their orbits decayed far slower, delaying a collision even more. There is the possibility that the Milky Way and Andromeda will remain on fairly stable orbits around one another for well over 10 billion years, which is honestly both a good and bad thing. On one hand, massive stellar ejection scenarios won't happen anytime soon. However, galaxy mergers also trigger star formation. The longer we wait, the less material there is for new stars to form, and the smaller newly formed stars are on average. So a near-term collision might actually be the best scenario if you want more star formation in the new galaxy. Luckily, a collision in the next 4-5 to five billion years still hasn't been ruled out by this new data. They estimate that a head-on collision in that time period, which is a scenario most people already know, still has about a 2% chance of occurring. Of course, that's significantly less than the essentially 100% chance that the previous data suggested, but it's still high enough that it can't be ruled out. It's also important to note that these numbers are in percentages because of uncertainties in measurement. Just like how new data showed that a collision is significantly less likely than previously thought, new data could change the odds again. The paper acknowledges the sources of uncertainty as well. So right now, we don't know what scenario is most likely to happen. Maybe the LMC will save the Milky Way, maybe it won't, or maybe a relatively near-term collision is still on the table. But to be clear, the idea of a Milky Way Andromeda collision in the next 4 billion years, which has been portrayed as an event that is certain to happen, is now most likely not going to, though there is still a small chance. However, this isn't the only galactic collision that could happen. Even if the Milky Way and Andromeda miss one another, there's still the LMC and Triangulum to consider. The paper suggests that the Milky Way will certainly collide with the Large Magellanic Cloud before Andromeda. While not nearly as destructive as an Andromeda collision, this is still pretty significant. Similarly, there's about an 86% chance that Triangulum collides with Andromeda before the Milky Way. So an alternate vision of the future of the local group seems to be emerging. Instead of one massive collision with the Milky Way and Andromeda, which is still possible but much less likely than previously thought, there could be several smaller collisions. The Milky Way LMC merger, and potentially an Andromeda Triangulum one as well. Then the resulting two galaxies will collide with one another in the very distant future, with about a 50% chance of the merger happening more than 10 billion years from now. Instead of the future of the local group having one single massive galaxy called Milkomeda in about 4 billion years, one possibility is that it'll have two. These two hypothetical future galaxies don't have names, but basing them off the name Milkomeda, which is just the Milky Way and Andromeda combined, maybe they could be called the Magellanic Way and the Andromulum or something. But it is important to note that there is still a lot of uncertainty, and even relatively small changes in the data could result in drastically different futures for the local group. But no matter what, eventually all four of these galaxies will merge. It may take 10 billion years, it may take far longer, but it will inevitably happen. This paper doesn't say a collision will never happen, they just find it unlikely that the well-known idea of a relatively near-term Milky Way Andromeda collision will. It's clear that we'll need more data to figure out what scenario will actually happen. But no matter what, the future of our galaxy is a lot more unknown than previously thought. There's a good chance, as high as 50%, that the Milky Way will be safe from an Andromeda collision for the next 10 billion years, and as high as a 98% chance it'll be safe for the next 5 billion years. But that doesn't mean either galaxy is safe from collisions either, and collisions with the Triangulum Galaxy and the Large Magellanic Cloud are still very much on the table. No matter what happens though, the future of the local group is exciting, and still a topic we can learn a lot more about. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about exoplanets and space colonization.